hello everyone, Speed2 here and welcome to another cast. Uh, this time we are on a new map that I made, it's called Seraphim Outpost, 10 km map uh, with um, nice features like um, Seraphim walls, which are quite nice and shiny. Uh, I didn't uh, manage to change the color of them, I think the civilians always need to have this color, otherwise they would look even cooler. And another good feature is um, this gemming crystal. Uh, right now it looks kind of broken, like you can see some uh, T2 fighter bomber flying there just in some distance, but that is because we all know how gemming works. It works only uh, on radars, not on vision, so I'm gonna show you exactly what it is doing uh, when one of these two players will get some radar coverage over this area okay so let's introduce them uh, we have a calvirox going for cybran and against him it's gonna be in the red viper going for seraphim uh, i approve his color uh, really nice choice i think he already has advantage even a better faction so he should be able to win just uh, deciding by this Okay, and so to the map, um, how it's designed, um, you have one ma main expansion, it can be played uh, for 2v2 as well, so one way to get there, also few maxes on the way, uh, some civilians like T1 pigeons and few buildings that don't give it too much mass, so that's just uh, to make the map look better and not so empty, also you have some uh, paths uh, in a bag with two maxes and some reclaim lying all over the map which is this uh, ice blocks over the craters uh, then some of the like that you need to, to transport that factory that you can't really build since uh, it's off the grid so it's just here to reclaim one factory that over here that is not really gonna help you too much and some frigates all over the map which don't give too much mass it's like five of those uh, ice blocks so not too much and uh, in the middle also just few that units t1 tanks with factory so that would be for the map uh, looks like a second air for Red Viper and some more land spam and Calvirox is gonna do pretty much the same but he's a bit later on the air factory because he built uh, a bit more pigeons oh, guess not, same power looks like uh, soon they should um, arrive to the jamming, so let's see what's gonna happen. No idea who's gonna be first to see that. Uh, maybe maybe Viper on the top. I think it's quite a nice feature, it doesn't give advantage to any of the players, so why not to have it? Uh, you may know it from campaign, from one of the missions and then it was never used on any map so I was like well let's put it there yeah now you can see what it's doing it's creating false images of buildings, land units and air that is just flying around it is actually quite annoying if you play the map uh, when I was trying that it was annoying but I like it still uh, some people don't really uh, like it, some don't care but I totally think this isn't something that would um, break the game since uh, it's on the same location for both players it can be killed so if you don't like it you can just kill it and the jamming will disappear okay so back to the game it is beautiful stop lying so Calvirox is expanding with this NG, is going after the reclaim, but uh, 
if you only just reclaim some of the rocks, it's pretty much the same mass value as this dead, ro dead wrecks. Uh, but still nice to pick them as well. Looks like one month is guarding this side, meanwhile on the other side. Uh, looks like pretty much the same move for Red Viper, but he's a bit faster with his NG. Also some tank guarding it and yeah, this bomber won't find anything to kill yet. But Calvarox is a bit later to expanding uh, to this Maxus, maybe his NG got killed. No, that looks like a dead scout, so never mind. He's getting some of the reclaim first before going for the Maxus. Yeah, and Bomber still has nothing to kill, so it will be time to just send the Inti, try to find some of the NGs and kill them, like this one is quite vulnerable. Uh, this one as well, but there is a factory right next to it, so that won't be too much loss, but it's always better to kill him, also the radar. Yeah, this is how it looks uh, when you have radar coverage over that. You have uh, false images everywhere on the radar, but they always follow a uh, same pattern, like uh, just going in a circle, then disappear. So something that is not flying the same direction as uh, all the other targets is gonna be an enemy bomber. It might be a bit harder to spot, but still think it's nice. Okay, now Red Viper is gonna send some of the tanks to this expansion. And there, will, there is nothing to stop him right now, just a uh, single mantis. So he might be able to raid this bottom maxes. And looks like Calvarox is getting factory here in the back, which is nice move since that's something that uh, Red Viper might not find. And actually, if you kill these two maxes, you can try to sneak your units even to this one. It is possible. And also thanks to the water, this map is quite good for drops, if you just send the drop right on the corner of the map and the radar is usually placed somewhere over here to take cover more of the land and not of the sea, so you can just sneak some raid, uh, some drop to the back without any issues. Okay, so it looks like Viper just... Uh, piling up his units, but he still has much more. Looks like Calvarox decided to kill it, but well, Mantis is gonna take its time to kill it. Some artillery would be better. And Calvarox is also guarding this expansion, so looks like both players are denying this expansion to each other. Uh, no NG is going for this middle maxes. Also the reclaim around the crater is, is quite nice to get. And Calvo is actually sending his ACU to this side so he should be able to defend this. Depends where Red Viper sends his units if he just goes around. He might be able to uh, run away from the ACU. But pretty similar forces. Looks like he's gonna retreat most of the units and gonna send some raid in the back, which is nice. That's always what you should do, just uh, split the units, send few to raid and save the rest if you can. Looks like Red Viper is gonna set his uh, factory production in the middle, not in expansion, he still didn't take it. Um, still quite a lot of reclaim left. Let's actually check the reclaim numbers. 5300 for Viper and he's not stalling a bit, but he's reclaiming still. Gains 5000, so slight advantage. Nothing major. And someone is still peeing me. Yeah, these maxes are gonna go down and just keep one, but still it's annoying since another engine needs to be deployed to take them back. Uh, it looks like Gemma Crystal survived. 
and this one is also still there so red viper was able to defend it now he could be then try to secure this expansion if he want to or just send units through the middle he can do that as well Let's see what his ACU he is on upgrade and that is T2 and he does not have a gun yet so first upgrade air rook also pretty much similar because I'm gonna speed it up a bit and on T2 maxes uh, 4 T2 maxes and looks like this one is goes going for T2 so fifth max going to T2 and Viper has one two three four this one is not looks like pretty much the same with the difference that uh Calvrox is already upgrading another one and he also managed to secure this expansion right now uh, but uh, Red Viper is pretty much following as well uh, some mantis made it to the back but uh, should be able to deal with them so still pretty much an uh, even game and also Viper is getting this middle part so those are the extra maxes that he would be missing and also there are maxes in these craters that you need to drop uh, it's easy to get there with transport I took care of that you can drop it that easily even with continental it's big enough so no problems to drop there you can really access it with ng you need to use transport and then also uh, if you're going for that suddenly you have the transport that you can use to drop in the back of the base let's see the radar coverage uh, here uh, Calvrox would spot that most likely but it still could be successful but uh, it's better to drop on the other side since there would be just one this one max to kill or maybe this hydro and also some artillery so that is the slow way to go but also gonna kill since the hydro is so close to water and the radar coverage of Red Viper is worse as you can see the radar is more to the middle so if you just go around the map you can easily get to the back and successfully drop it on the other side it's better but still you can try to sneak some transport through uh, you can't really pay attention to all the map so one time you might get successful with that so Calvirox is switching to T2 he is building Rhinos let's look if the Red Viper is also doing so I'm not sure there is a T2 now and he's building Yanzi so he wants the speed and also to ability to go on water and split some of the artillery but um, this is not the best target since there are so much units but uh, he has quite a lot of T1 units there so he could be pushing there at least killing those maxes and the RT should be able to kill the hydro so it's gonna be successful and in the back uh, not really but still worth trying looks like more T2 maxes uh, but it's still similar so yeah Viper is also taking up and now he's gonna send these tanks through the water on the left side and that should be successful since there are just a couple of mantis and this T2 max is in danger also this one might be next one as a target just uh, run through the bottom and where is the ACU so Calvirox is on upgrade that should be gun upgrade I guess and let's see where where is Viper's ACU 
Oh, he's over here. So he has a T2 gun and going for and going for nano, so that is gonna be quite dangerous ACU with a couple of units. Should be able to push this position since you have extra HP and regen. There are just T1 units, no PDs yet, so uh, some T2 PDs would be needed on this side to defend it successfully. Meanwhile, the T2 tanks are dominating the right side, so now he can even split them or just send them to the right side and raid his expansion. And if Red Viper need, wants to defend it, he needs to go all the way around. So this expansion should die easily, also this max, I believe it's gonna follow, just one tank can go there and kill it. Some gunships for both players, uh, looks like Calvillers right now has more air, but now the ACU is coming with the flag, so no gunships can go here, yeah, and with the nano and the T2 it's gonna be quite hard to stop. And the T2PDs are being built right now, one is unfinished for some reason, but this is gonna be too late. Uh, Cyber and T2PDs are not quite effective against the ACU even without the Nana, so now Red Viper should have no problem securing this expansion for him. Overcharging the T2 units and reinforcements coming and some Yoshi so he's gonna be fine over here and more reinforcements coming yeah but he is having problem in the back looks like he didn't pay attention to that too much and no Calvrox is gonna go straight for this production and splitting a few tanks in the back which is nice so he's gonna kill these maxes again Yeah, and with the T2 you can easily build a factory here quite fast to get the reclaim and just uh, continue pushing. Calvaros can not really stop it with his own ACU since he doesn't have that extra uh, 12k HP and the regen. Uh, this push should be... well, there are still quite a lot of T2 tanks. Problem is that no artillery to kill the factories faster. Maxes are going down, uh, expansion good kill, so again it's a bit more even, uh, but the difference is that Calvirox is not really securing this position, but he might be able to kill this position since he is also sending gunships and still has quite a lot of units there, 42 tanks, that's hard to stop, especially if there is mostly just T1. Now gunships are firing the production so this T2 bot will not be finished as well. Meanwhile units are sneaking to the back so this at least this max is gonna go down. Meanwhile Red Viper could be pushing even more if he upgrade he got the factory to T2 so he's gonna have flag. He still has some flag near his ACU so he's gonna be fine. like Alvaros is doing a really good job with the gunships, he killed all the production over here so that is quite annoying a uh, shame he didn't bring his air with him since he didn't need to lose that many gunships but looks like he's saving quite a lot of them so he can still use them and he should be able to win the air easily Actually this max survived as well, so not, not very successful. And in air factory more flags, so I suspect him for pushing again and if he goes through the middle he can always hide in this water if needed. It's a bit trap but uh, should be safe there, but the regen should be enough for him save him and now deep free land actually and some loyalists but 
I guess a lot of this in at this time has really no use since uh, if he's gonna push he's gonna find just Eoxalos and those are quite strong so uh, in this match I would go directly for Bricks since uh, these T2 bots can stop you a loyalist quite easily so you should go for the Bricks straight away and also if he wants to attack the ACU he's gonna need at least the range advantage on the Bricks and a lot of micro it's like Viper is gonna hide in water it's not that deep so ground fire is possible you can see that still part of the AC is sticking out of water yeah but he can't be really seen if he's in the water so also some sonar would be needed you can build it over here I guess to see the AC here. Now the gunship's incoming, but that won't be too successful against all the flag that is behind. So really nice position of the flag just behind the ACU. And actually, the more damage he deals right now, the worse is for Calvarox since uh, Red Viper is just gonna regenerate that really fast. So if he wants to attack this ACU, he needs to do it at once and. Uh, try to kill him or damage him at least so much that he would be really forced to retreat just run away because if he just uh, do damage of some 4 or 5 k HP just gonna uh, regen that really fast get some veterancy then this T2P is not really an issue for the ACU if Lana can see it in its full health again Now he's sending his gunships uh, directly, well it's not even to the main base, uh, he's gonna go to this flak and air production, I think the good choice would be try to go against the power, just kill the shields and try to get all the speed gens and if he killed them that would be really bad for red viper. But there is really not too much to kill, uh, but it's bad decision should go directly for the power or at least and the build power maxes or anything but uh, killing something in the middle has really no value he killed the one bot the radar not even the hydro and now he's gonna lose all his gunships so not a good move with the gunships could have been used much better uh, red viper is just gonna secure this position easily there is still nothing that could uh, kill him right now Calvirox is on some upgrade mm, no idea what that is but right now I think uh, Viper can be just pushing Looks like he's just gonna get uh, some of the T2 PDs to have some safe position, but there's always water to retreat to. Now would be also the time to send like one Yoshiva to the top to kill this max. Or maybe even more to try to split the army a bit. He would be pushing with ACU and uh, some units in this position, overcharging everything, and the rest would be splitting the Calvrox army. Uh, over this position looks like the loyalist is in expansion right now but the T2 but should be able to defend it mm, Calvarox is getting some really expensive upgrade I guess it's gonna be laser since it takes so much energy Let's see most 2000 so I guess that's laser. That might be interesting. The only problem with that is uh, that he really needs Red Viper to attack him since he can't push this position. These PDs are gonna kill him. Uh, laser is strong, but uh, the AC is missing the HP. And if you wanna have uh, the range on the laser, as you have on your gun, you can't really have a T2 or T3. 
so that's really weakness and uh, for PDs that deals quite a lot of damage especially to cyber and ACU I mean, with all these units uh, he could try to uh, look innocent and just make a red viper to do the first move attack his base just pretend that he's losing start retreating and then in the last moment just uh, walks into his ACU and kills him so I guess that's the only way how to win this game right now uh, make Red Viper attack him first he can't really push himself he's gonna die to that and also as soon as he starts firing in the PDs uh, Red Viper is gonna retreat so he will never catch up And Red Viper is even retreating, he's playing it safe, so now when Calibrox is coming he has his AC in the back, he's building more PDs, just line of T1 PDs but he can be also building more T2 PDs with the AC room that's gonna easily stop this push maybe he, he knows what's going on, maybe he saw that upgrade Okay, so um, uh, mobile missile launchers it's a nice choice, but it's gonna take some time to kill those PDs. And he's not even waiting for that. So one PD is down, Lurg is uh, gonna die quite fast. Two PDs, but still a lot of T1 PDs is in a place. And now he's not even attacking, he's just retreating again. Yeah, and Viper has... Uh, good vision of that so he knows what's going on and even strat bomber so red viper switched the t3 air and that is gonna be end of calvirox you can't really defend against strat Now he's gonna push with laser and yeah now Red White definitely knows what's going on. So he needs to be just running but unfortunately his units are blocking him. But Calvirox needs to be just walking straight into him. And looks like even some units blocking of Calvirox is here that is not targeting Red Viper right now. And he's even out of the range so I would say no hope. He can't really select the ACU since the ACU just stopped working when it's on the range. So he needs to be just running after him. So I guess maybe if he just went right after him and not select him at the beginning. He might have been able to kill him but right now when he's in water I think uh, it's a game over and also the strats. So good usage of nano repair from Red Viper well played for him that's gonna be all for this game I um, hope you like it if you like the map you can uh, try it it's in map vault and if you have some improvements some suggestions um, just post it on forum and I will try to improve the map so see you in another video